Today we're going to be using a tool from Bueno. A bueno is a company in which I work, so I'm a little bit biased. So it's a design tool to create your own 2D metaverse experiences using your NFTs as characters. And the cool thing is that you enter and then you can just like, hey, walk around these spaces. But today is not just the player experience that we're going to be looking at, but the builder experience, the design tool part of this, which I'm really excited about because it's really easy to use. You just put stuff around and then it feels like you're building a game. So uh, for today, we're going to be creating a cinema or cinema, I don't, I don't know, like a, a, the movie theater. And it's just going to be the lobby of the movie theater uh, of, uh, of a space that is called Robopolis. So inside Robopolis, there's a little movie theater that you can go visit. And today we're just going to build the lobby of it. Okay, so let me just show you quickly on Figma how this was designed. And this was designed in part by the Bueno team and my team and the Robotos team. Also, we just created this little space. Really talented people working there. So, but you see that it's all built on Figma. And as you see that it's built on Figma, everything is separated in just like in different ways. This way, uh, I have the ability to just put it on the game and place it in different C indexes. So it's really important to, for example, here, I have what is the, uh, this part is one, uh, one thing. Then the character that is behind is also one thing. And then also these trees, but also the floor is one, its own object. And also this thing is its own object. It's not like I just explore the whole image. I have to separate each part and then place it on the microverse so you can walk around them. You can just like jump and even talk to the characters. And that's, that's a beauty. That's the beauty of this. Okay, so we have what is the wall and the floor. And I'll be honest, I think that the wall and the floor can just be one single thing. So I can just like put the whole thing. I'm going to group it and then I'm going to say space, you know, and then I'm going to export this da, 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 and I just export it as a PNG. And here's the thing. The cool thing about uh, Bueno's uh, world builder, uh, the, we, we call these worlds the microverse. The cool thing about this is that you can use your art. So if you create, made it on Procreate, if you made it on Photoshop, on Illustrator, it doesn't matter. You can just like import it as PNGs and then just like put them around. That's the beauty of this because you don't, you're not tied to a specific tool. He, or you, you don't have to learn 3D. Even if you have 3D, you can just insert your 3D renders in there and just put them around too. So it's not bound to specific style. It's your style. So anyway, I just exported all the stuff and now I'm going to go back to the microverse. And this is a, a specific one that is like inside Robotos. There's Robopolis. And actually, let me just show you really quickly uh, Robopolis, how it's looking. So you see what, what I'm talking about. So inside Robopolis, this is the city where Robotos live. And uh, before entering, well, I have to select a character. Uh, for this one, I'm going to select a Wonder Paul, a Wonder Paul that I really love. I got really lucky on minting and I got this golden one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. So you can use your NFT as your character. Uh, here's Robopolis, and I can even talk to characters. Like, for example, here, hello, do Robotos pay for things? I don't know. How? With cash, of course. Oh, is that a token? I <laughs> didn't understand the, the joke. No, with cash, as in, as in C H E S G, as an auxiliary memory, not cash as in money. Get it? No, I don't. Oh, I guess jokes are not funny. The cool thing about this is if I go, like, hey, this is a character, right, that you can uh, talk to, but I actually wrote this character. And this is just an object that I walk around and I can add an interaction that says, like, hey, this is the dialogue. I can add multiple interactions, portal, animation, music, external link, but you can also add a dialogue. Since I already added it, I can go and edit it. Click outside and then edit the dialogue. And see, this is a dialogue tree builder in which I can just like a create all the stuff, like a put different answers. Is this like a, does it end the conversation here or does it end uh, or so it go to, to the next block? No, it actually ends. So let me just put it here. And then a, for example, even if you want to uh, uh, create a, 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 an emoji, you can add a reaction here, for example, like this. And then no, with cash, and maybe it, it gets angry here. <laughs> maybe, maybe it uses this one. And it's like, no, I don't. And it's like, I guess jokes are not fun funny when you have to explain them. And then maybe it uses this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's actually uh, try it out. Oh my God. Uh, 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 uh. Now let's go back. And it's like, how do robots, I don't know, how? It's like, and see how it's reacting with cash, of course. Oh, is that a token? 
No, with cash, C H E, as in, <laughs> and I was like kind of confused. No, I don't. And then it's like, okay, well, I guess jokes are not funny. How cool is that? And all of that is really easy to build. We're a dialogue builder, just like a go over there. And you can even, something that I didn't say, you can even change the image. Uh, here, the image is on every message, is remaining the same. But if you want to go here and you want your character to look mad or something, you can just change the image too. Anyway, that's not what I was here. Uh, see, I get too distracted. The idea here is that, A, you can just build your worlds and then you can invite your community, all your community to just like come around and just like play games or just hang out. And today we're going to build, by the way, this is closed because this is not uh, since it's does not finished yet, I put roadblocks too. And since I'm a builder, I'm the only one who can <laughs> move those roadblocks. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, but I like it. I love it. I love that, hey, uh, as a builder, I, I have the power to do this stuff. But anyway, what we're going to do, as you see, there's still... But I want to build this, the thing that is inside here. So uh, what we're going to do is that from here, it goes on interaction, and then it goes to a portal, and then it goes to this portal, where it's just like a hey, da da da, and it goes over here, and then loading spawn points. Oop! Uh, let's just put the default, and there you go. So now, if I go over here, and I enter, I should go over there, and I think I'm going to see my own character too. Hey, <laughs> because I am open here. So see, in two different uh, uh, scenarios, I am there, and it's like, yo, <laughs> are you me? And then over here is like, uh, uh, are you me? <laughs> see that? Oh my God. Anyway, I'm going to close this. Uh, okay. See, I, I closed the tab and then it disappeared. Okay, cool. So, uh, uh let me s select the text and now, okay, cool. So let's build this. Now I'm going to add a background. I need to, here you can add objects. You can see, you can add an element, you can add a background, you can add a foreground. And this is just because of different layers that you need to put on your world. And you can have hitboxes. I'll tell you what hitboxes are and interactions and other stuff. So here we want, as a background, we want all of this. And then what is inside of like main layers? What is the background? What is in the middle and what is on top? That's the foreground, middle, and the background. It's kind of like a sandwich. In the bottom, you have the bread, like the first bread, and then in the middle, we have the meat, all your elements, all your characters, all your stories, different floors. You have, you can make it a really tall sandwich. And then at the top, we have a foreground, which is on top of everything. You can put clouds, you can put an effect, lights and stuff. You can put it all the way to the foreground, and it's always going to be on top of everything. So those three elements are what is really important, and that's why there's tools to put the element, which is in the middle. Then we have background, which is all the way to the bottom, and then we have foreground, which is all the way to the top. So let's insert first our background. And I think I called it space. Yeah, space. And this is just going to be the whole thing. See that? See it? How beautiful. How beautiful. You are beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get demonetized if I keep singing. So that was it. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I, I like it like this. I like it that it's in the middle. And now, okay, cool. I can walk around. Look, it almost, it's, 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 I'm finished. I can go now. I, I can say like, hey, I'm done here. Thank you so much. That apparently it's not very well centered. Let's center just a tiny bit. There you go. We need center centering tools, uh, maybe for later. Anyway, okay, we have this now. Well, the background is not looking that great, right? Some One really cool trick that I've seen in games that uh, to say, hey, you're an interior of somewhere is making the rest of the screen, whatever is not inside, black. So for that, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to change the background color of this world. So on this world, I'm just going to say uh, zero, 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 uh, which is black. La la la, you can put any uh, uh, hex code. And there you go. Now it feels more like, oh, you're inside somewhere, right? It, 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 it's so weird. The, the black creates that illusion. So uh, uh, the first thing that I want to do is just like a edit the spawn point because there's this default spawn. I think it's here, but we want it to be down here. So uh, here you see it. I clicked on the spawn point and this is to create a new spawn point, but we don't need a, a one. So I'm just going to press escape and then just going to delete the one. Uh, sorry, uh, remove the one that exists over here. So that way 
a, this is where uh, uh, the character is going to arrive uh, first. And to test that, I'm going to move to play and I'm going to refresh. Uh, I'm going to have to select the character again. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Look at those, all these NFTs. I'm going to select Toy Burger. Toy Burgers are cool. Uh, what Toy Burger? Taco Toy Burger, of course. And there you go. See, now the spawn point is here and now I can move in here. It's almost like a, the entrance, you know? And how did I do that? I just went to the spawn points and then I can add new spawn points or I can just like move the ones that are uh, that already exist. And you can even rename them, uh, say that it goes in different floors. Permissions, for example, if you want only certain people to enter that spawn point, you can also token gate it. For example, gated access and then you just like add the contract address of a specific one. For example, only toy burgers and only uh Robotos and only cool cats and only uh, whatever enter. You just put the contract address and only those people will be able to enter. But for today, the cinema is open for everyone. So let's just keep it there. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's keep building. Pablo, keep building. You just keep playing. Uh, okay, so let's go back. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have a lot of stuff to add. Now we're going to add our first element, which is exciting uh, because the elements, you can walk around them. You can even talk to them and you can add interaction. So... Let's add our tree, just a little tree, a little beautiful tree. And okay, so I have a tree and now let's test the tree. Let's play around the tree. Okay, so, well, let's, let's say, okay, I can walk around it, but uh, you see, I'm trying to walk here and it doesn't allow me. Uh, over here, it, it allows me, what's going on? Like, oh, I have to, it, it's almost like I cannot go behind it. So what is going on? Here's the thing, by default, any object that you uh, put, it's going to have what we call a hitbox that doesn't allow the character to walk on top of it. So if I go and edit the hitbox, like a, adjust the hitbox, you're going to see that the whole object has a hitbox. But actually here, what's the hitbox? What is actually hitting the floor where the character shouldn't pass. So I'm going to say they, a, the hitbox is around here and A, it's around here. And I can just like, this is a polygon, so I can just like get really complex hitboxes if, if I want to. So, but now let's just keep it simple. So I'm just going to say here and here. Okay, cool. So let's go test it again. And now look, I can walk behind it. I couldn't do that before. See, la la la, I can hide behind the tree. Well, this toy burger is a little bit too big for the tree. But if we wanted to, we could also just make the tree bigger. And look at that, now I can hide. <laughs> but no, let's uh, actually undo all of that stuff. We want the little tree, a little happy tree over here. And now, something else that you can edit here is uh, the C axis. You see how over here, it's kind of weird, it's not perfect. You see, like, it, I'm behind it, but I only want to be behind it when I'm around here. I want to potentially be on top of the character of the tree when I'm around here. So, for that, we have something that is called the C index of, uh, uh, of the object. So, I'm just going to adjust it to be potentially around here. See? It looks like I'm still uh, on top of it, and then suddenly I am behind it. So, if you want to adjust, just adjust the C index of it, and now you'll be able to just like make it more realistic and more immersive. Okay, so we have one tree, and let's go back to your design. We have one over here and one over here. So I'm just going to uh, duplicate it. And I think it's aligned with this. It's centered like this. Yeah, that's the design here. See how it's designed? Well, apparently it's not that very well designed, but I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> well, the cool thing is that we can adjust it here however we want. Ooh, I didn't duplicate. Sometimes the duplicate doesn't work. Oh, there you go. I was doing something wrong. Uh, 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 and now let's do it again. There you go. Let's put our little little tree over here. Uh, maybe over or the way here. Uh, now let's test it. Can I walk around the tree? Yes, I can walk around the tree. Apparently I can walk to the abyss. We don't want to walk to the abyss. We're going to have to edit that in a second. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> Look at that. I can fly. I'm a ghost. But not for now. Not for so long, my little toy booger. Not for so long. Okay, cool. So let's continue building this thing. I think we need to add an object over here, another one. Let's add, uh, what is it? It's a bench. Little, little bench over here. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, the little bench. Maybe I want to go behind the bench, 
Let's do the same that we were doing before. Let's adjust the hitbox. The hitbox should only be uh, maybe around, oh, idiosito. So this is a little hard to select these things uh, because the tools, it, it's so weird. I think the tool shouldn't be here and maybe I have to refresh my page. Sometimes that happens, you know, we're, we're working on it, uh, but don't worry, it's gonna be nice. Uh, let me actually refresh the page. Sometimes little box appear out of nowhere but this gives me a chance to select a new nft what do you think um uh, potato punk maybe my azuki azuki maybe one of my time pieces i think one of my time pieces will be great so i'm going to select this one this one is damn randy damn randy okay damn randy is here <laughs> it's so cool because like once i go here time like also flips so uh but i like it it's okay so let's let's go back to build mode now i'm in build mode and see there was a bug here see the tools are now on top it's so weird. Sometimes that happens. Anyway, okay, let's go to uh, adjust our hitbox. And la la la. There you go. That's beautiful. And now let's adjust. Uh, let's test it. See, it's kind of weird that I can be here. So let's let's test or C index to be just here. There you go. I can walk around it. Beautiful. Okay, cool. We have or bench. Now let's start adding this. This one is one element, another element. We have the ice cream we have here. We have a lot of work to do, my friends. Still a lot of work. Okay, cool. So let's uh, first add or uh, ba -ba -ba. what do I call this? The fence? Uh, I think it's the, the, the little fence. Uh, what do I call it? Oh, cinema fences. Da 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 Let's see how they're placed over here. Yeah, around there, around there. Let's adjust our scene around here. Now, one thing here is that this one is going to need two different hitboxes. So let's adjust the first hitbox. The first hitbox, maybe we just put it here, la la la, like around here. And it's just a, a hitbox that doesn't allow you to cross this red thing. And actually, I, I think we only need uh, uh, three elements. So uh, 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 let's close this core because apparently I had it open. And let's just add, add another hitbox. That's another thing that you can add a hitbox to an object. So I'm going to add a new hitbox and I'm going to adjust it around here, la la la. I think I could have just duplicated the other hitbox. But anyway, we, we like doing stuff from scratch. We're builders, we're makers. Okay, cool. So see, now I cannot walk through here, but I should be able to walk through the middle of it. That's cool, right? So I could have just also just like do one and then duplicate it. <sighs> Maybe that, that would have been better, but I'm kind of lazy. This way, now it's, it's center and it's just one single object. That's nice. I think that's nice. That's efficient. Let's put or front. And I think uh, 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 we have our NPC, we have or thing, and then we have uh, this thing. Oh, these two things, I think. I think, uh, 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 you know what? I think this should have been, oh, I'm realizing that maybe, uh, uh, let's see, what does it look without this? I think it looks fine without that. I'm going to do it without that. That way the character can walk behind it. Do you like that? I think you like that, come on. We all like that, let's just do that. So we're not going to do that, we're going to do this one only. That's a cool thing because like, hey, you make decisions maybe on your design tool and then you come here and say, you start testing it and you start like doing it and, and putting it together with the character and you realize like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it this way. And it, that's that's nice, that's cool. Anyway, let's adjust our hitbox. The first thing, we want our hitbox to be here maybe here, I think, or our hitbox here is going to be a little bit crazy. So let's try to, uh, 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 sometimes, that's something we need to fix. Uh, sometimes uh, like hitboxes, you're not, you cannot move them unless uh, if there's an object in the middle, you have to move the object. It's just a little thing that we're still working on. Give us a break. Uh, so anyway, let's uh, move this little guy or hitbox should be just around here and let's let's add a hitbox here So the column you can have to walk around the column. How cool is that? Uh, 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 and then let's put it here. You can go pretty uh, Like a hey, you can zoom in here and you can just like a hey, you want to add more points and make it 
even more granular the control of, of this stuff you can just like go crazy with your points but let's keep it simple just around there that's nice that's nice i think it actually must have to be like a little bit bigger here just a hitbox maybe it should be around here there you go now i think the c index is going to be weird see that's not cool so our c index should potentially be uh, around here i think yeah there you go so now you go to the front you go around and then if you are behind it you are behind it see it, it, it's so weird because like if it had been uh for example here uh or uh here actually you will be suddenly behind it but you're actually not so that's the beauty about adjusting the c index just by adjusting that like now it gives you the, that illusion of depth depth profundidad in spanish for all of those who are trying to learn uh, okay now let's add a new element this element is going to be the rooftop uh the roof the roof the roof is on fire i'm going to be demonetized okay uh <laughs> now the roof i think the roof should be exactly on fire right now this looks like it's on top of this but this the roof should be on top of everything so maybe one thing that we can introduce here is not we can just like adjust with the c index but maybe something that quickly will solve this is that we put the roof on floor two look at that now it's on top of everything everything is going to be below this one because it's on floor two I'm going to do that. That was that is one way to solve that. You're never going to have your character on top of this, so eh, it's okay. Or even if you wanted to have to be on top of it, that's good because then you you want to put it on a different floor. So floors allow you to put uh, multiple floors in the elements that are inside the background and the foreground. So it's like inside that sandwich, you can have multiple layers of veggies and meats and all that stuff. Or not me, just make it bigger, multiple pages. Uh, okay, we just put it on floor two. There you go. So now if I walk around this, look, I am behind it. That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, cool. So now I think the last and most important thing, we're going to add our NPC, Cinema NPC. And as you can see, it has a very nice little bow tie <laughs> because it's ready to just receive you. I love this. I love I, I love uh, 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 or uh, little NPC characters. And you know what? I want to animate it. So, but uh, to do that, I need to just like show you something. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Uh, 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 let me just uh, put a character. I'm going to select this one. And uh, 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 uh. and I'm going to select this just so. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, what's going on? So now I here as a builder, I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, uh, just like I I'm going to edit the animation because I always forget what the code is. Is that you can add animation? You see how it's moving, and all of this is controlled by this CSS. Uh, and I'm going to explain you in a second how it works. I'm going to close this, we don't need it anymore. And then here, I can go to interactions. Again, you can add multiple interactions, music, a portal, animations, and we want to add an animation. So on animation, I'm going to say that the animation lasts 1000 milliseconds, which is one second, and then, then you can start adding keyframes. So first, and this is CSS. This is a CSS transform that you have to put. And I'm going to say that it transforms in the Y position and it transforms, maybe it starts at zero. So zero, zero percent, that's our first keyframe. Let's add another one and let's add another one. Uh, and I just copy paste it. We want it to go back so this one is good. And then this one should be at a hundred percent. That way it starts at zero. Then here, 50%, that's our middle key uh, uh, keyframe. Uh, you could put multiple keyframes, but um, I'm going to keep it simple, which is like a, uh, uh, I want the character to look like it's hovering up and down. Uh, so then here, I'm going to say, this is uh, going to say one. Let's try that for one second and let's go, go and submit. Oops, I did it wrong. Uh, this should have been on the, uh, oh, this should have been, uh, oh, idiot. No, this should have been, y position and then this should be on translate x a uh, y so now i should go up and down ah that's so cool but that's a little bit too much so let's edit the animation <laughs> and maybe it should be 0.5 only half of what is moving see now it's kind of nice but you know what let's make it last a little bit longer maybe uh, half a second maybe two seconds 
2,000 milliseconds. Let's test it. And that's kind of nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. So now let's uh, uh, edit the hitbox. Let's adjust the hitbox. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. You know what? I'm going to say that it doesn't have a hitbox. You can just like walk around it. So I'm going to just select the hitbox. By the way, once you select the hitbox, you can see all of the hitboxes. See? And you can just like edit every of the hitbox. This is pretty useful. Uh, but for now, we just want to edit this hitbox. And I'm going to say delete the hitbox. Thank you so much. Okay, cool. So uh, <laughs> let's go back to building this character. Uh, 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 let's select it. And we have the animation. And I'm going to just like a adjust the C index of it to be around here. Okay, cool. So now we can just like move it behind. Hey, look at that. It is behind. Oh my God. Uh, uh, uh. So let's adjust the C index of this character. Maybe it should be around here. There you go. <laughs> and now it looks like it's behind. So now... <laughs> you can go behind and the character is there. But the cool thing is that now we can add a dialogue to it. How cool is this? So I'm going to go here and edit an, uh, one of the interactions all the way to the bottom. By the way, you can also make a mint machine, but that's for a different video. Uh, we're going to add a dialogue. So in the dialogue, here's like a welcome. The first thing is a welcome, right? Welcome to the cinema to the Robo Cinema, cinema. Today's entertainment, entertainment include uh, Robo Police under attack. And you know what? Let me, uh, let me put three dots. By the way, it, there's, there's, there's some cool things because I think uh, you can also just like, hey, do this. Uh, 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 breaks, we'll break it into, uh, yeah, let's meet up. So let's look at this. Welcome to Ro today's include, and then continue. Robo police under attack. And by the way, this is wrong. <laughs> Robo police under attack. Let's put two uh, th the things, and then let's. Uh, Robo police under attack. Interactions can advance. Okay, cool. So here it it just like separated into multiple lines which is pretty useful when you want your character to just like keep talking you know and there's not really an answer it's just like continuing robot police under attack uh and uh let's say human uh kind kind adventures which one which one do you do you want to watch uh uh, uh let's say here we have three answers. Let's uh, two answers. Let's add another one. Let's say none. Thank you. And then here, maybe it should say uh, humankind. Uh, here, Robopolis, Robopolis under under attack. Uh, 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 uh. And then here, instead of stopping, maybe it should go to a next block. Cool. Come back and in the future or <laughs> robo police under attack attack is sold out cool cool unfortunately unfortunately robo police under attack is sold out come back later and then over here Bomber. Why? Because we, we still don't have it. So we could just like do this. Uh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and then, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> that's just, that's awesome. Unfortunately, uh, humankind uh, is not available yet. Come back later. Come back later. Later. Alligator. There you go. And then maybe we can just like, oh no. <laughs> so uh, now let's try it. Uh, try press. Welcome to the Robo Cinema. Today's entertainment include, continue, Robo Police Under Attack, Humankind Adventures. Which one do you want to watch? Uh, and you know what? Maybe this should have a lot, uh, like a little line like this. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da -da. C, C, C. Which one do you want? Uh, Robo police under attack. 
humankind. Uh, let's say Europol is under attack. Cool. Unfortunately, Europol is. Let's add a reaction here that is like, like this, and then maybe one that is like this. And then over here, it's a, it's a party. There you go. Okay, cool. So now let's go back. And now let's interact with our little robot. Let's go to play mode. Uh, 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 uh. And then over here. Oh, I cannot interact with it. What's going on? Oh, let me tell you about something. One cool thing also that we built is not just the, the hit zone, but we also have an interaction zone. So the interaction zone allows you to say where the character uh, hits and then is able to interact with the object, with the character in this case. So the interaction zone, uh, let's add one. And then the interaction zone is by default uh, this, but uh, 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 we want to make it a little bit bigger. You know, we want it to be just like A. The character should be able to talk uh, to the NPC whenever it's around here. What do you think? And maybe, just maybe, also when it's around here. So there's two interaction zones that we have here. So there you go. I think that's good. So now I go here and then over here, I can start talking to the the Roboto. Welcome to the Robo Cinema. Today seems to include Robot Police Under Attack, Humankind Adventures. Which one do you want to watch? Uh, humankind. Oh, that's awesome. Unfortunately, Humankind is not available. <laughs> oh my God. Come back later, alligator. Oh, oh no. There you go. We built something. Oh, we're still missing something. You cannot, you shouldn't be able to go over here to the dark side. So for that, we can also add hitboxes, just hitboxes that are independent. They're just like global, independent from objects. So let's add a lot of hitboxes. So we need a hitbox here, a little bit hitbox, a little bit hitbox, a little bit hitbox, a little bit hitbox. What floor are we? Are we on floor one? Yes. So we want, we want the character to not be able to go up the wall. So let's just put a big gigantic hitbox over here. Now we could just like continue with this hitbox and just like add a point here, for example, and then add a point here. And there you go. Now it's not going to go over here. So now let's test it. See, now I cannot go over there. I cannot go up the wall. That's pretty nice. I will say. So let's just do the same all over here. So we can just like use one hitbox. If I want to, I could just like continue doing this. But I don't know. I think uh, maybe, yeah. No, I, I'm going to just leave it as that. And then I'm going to add separate hitboxes for the bottom. What did you think? Do you like that idea? Thank you for loving that idea. I love that idea too. <laughs> Pablo, you're speaking to yourself. This is like another way to cope. It's a cope mechanism, they call it. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, we have it, I think. We built the hitboxes. See how easy it is now? And then the cool thing is that you have one hitbox today, but then you can see all the other hitboxes. And you can like, yo, what about this hitbox? Oh, I want it to be a little bit tighter. And hmm, that's kind of nice, but maybe you should be able to just drink a lot here. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, moving the objects. So now, actually, I do want to go behind the tree. So let's just move it just a little bit here. And then, look, I can hide behind the tree. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> anyway, okay, that feels more realistic. I think now we can put this little guy over here. Let's go back to play. And, yo, what up, man? What up? What up, Robo Cinema? Today's entertainment include, and then you could just like talk. You can close at any moment. This is awesome. This is pretty awesome. I I love this. Now let's test it in Robopolis. Da, 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 da. Let's see if you can actually go over there. Let's use another NFT to go over there. Let's use the potato punk. Potato punks are cool as hell. Look at them, they're animated. They are not loading. What is going on? <laughs> Let's build because I have to move. <laughs> Let's move this little guy. Let's put it back. I, I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel powerful. Get out of there. Get in there. 
<laughs> I have superpowers <laughs> with that potato punk superpower. That's what's going on. Uh, 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 hey, what's going on? Oh my God. There you go. Uh, 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 guess go over here. This I need to fix, by the way. You shouldn't be able to hear. This should be uh, separated in multiple, <laughs> in multiple layers, but that's for later. But here, the idea is that you can tap or press E to enter portal. Uh, let's interact the interaction zone. Maybe the interactions should be just here. What do you say? No, I don't like that. Uh, uh, uh. Let's put the interaction zone here. Oh, we don't need this little guy. And let's move the interaction zone around here. Oh my God. Why do you have to make everything last so long, Pablo? Can you just make it easy? Just make it easy. No, that's not how it works. We have to, we have to do it right. And now, okay, now here, and you see the little those little lights that are part of the interaction zone. Right now it looks like crap because I haven't fixed this, but that's a cool thing. This this is telling you, it's giving you a hint. There's something interactive here to the player. They know that they can come over here. So now I press E and I'm going to see my potato punk next to my damn Randy Roboto. Hello, hello my friend. And then, uh, yeah, I, I um, this is awesome, right? Oh, we, we uh, hold on, no. We still need something. We need to be able to go back. There's no way to go back. So for that, oh, I'm so excited about this because now we're going to build a portal. So now uh, 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 we're going to build, da, 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 da. what should I do? Oh, I think I, I can just add an, a transparent element. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 transparent element. So it is a, a, a portal here. So we have an interaction zone. There you go. And it's just a transparent uh, 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 image that is here. You see it? Eh, eh, eh. Well, no, you cannot see it. <laughs> That's the whole point. Because I want it to be or door back over there. So here on this object, I'm going to add a portal. And this portal should take me back over here. So, uh, 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 uh. so hold on. Oh, my God. So I should go. Hold on. Over here, I need to build two things. I, first, I need to build a portal here. Oh, I need to go back to the cinema. Uh, first, I need to go back to the cinema and build a portal here that takes me back to the cinema because I want to go back out, out of the room, right? So I need to go back over here. Again, I am powerful. Ay, ay, Diosito. The cool, you, you know something that I love about this, which is an, it could be annoying. That it's like, I have to go to the cinema to do this. But it's okay because it's like real life, you know? In real life, you will have to walk to the place where you want to do something, right? I, I really love that. It's, I don't know, more engaging. Is that what it is? Let's build a spawn point here. And then let's call it cinema outside. There you go. We have our spawn point. And then over here, I should be able to, uh, to just like a select uh, this and this. We're going to need this. Uh, 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 later. Okay, cool. So, oh, we need a character. Let's select. Oh, look at that. I have my monkeys. Okay, I'm going to select this cool monkey. <laughs> oh, no, my cool monkey is trapped. You know what? I'm going to not select a character, and I'm going to go to build mode. And apparently, I did something weird with the hitboxes. Uh, uh, yes, I see what is going on. This shouldn't be a hitbox. Oh, my God. But it should be an interaction zone, but uh, we're going to add it later. So, uh, yes. So now let's uh, let's select, uh, well, let's see the spawn points, where the spawn points are. Uh, the spawn point should be here. Now let's select a character. Let's select another monkey. Uh, there you go. Now it's not trapped. You know what, what was going on? It was just like on top of the hitbox. It was, the character was like, what am I doing? So, <laughs> but there you go. Okay, that's cool. It's not a bug. It's a feature, my friend. Okay, so, uh, 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 so now we need to select the element. And there was an element here. And now we need to add a portal to it that takes me back to the other microverse. So this is why... I was copy pasting over there. So uh, over here on Robopolis, we have, uh, pa, 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 what was it called? The cinema, cinema outside. Here it is, here it is. So now if I go and A, I'm like, okay, 
Goodbye. I press E. Come on. And I'm back with my potato punk. Yo! Outside the cinema. My friend, my buddy, yo, was waiting for me. Anyway, that's it for now. Today, we learned how to use portals, how to add animations, how to add objects and put hitboxes, how to uh, just like adjust the C index. We even created an NPC with dialogue. So, I don't know. I'm excited for this. Hopefully, you're excited. We're going to be releasing this tool soon. If you want to know more about it, just go to bueno.art. Oh, I know what it is. It's microverse.bueno.art. There you go. So yeah, if you want to join the waitlist, join our Discord. It's uh, we we're really excited to just like keep build, building all the stuff. There's some uh, worlds that have been built. Uh, they're just like as, as experiments, but we want builders like you to come here and design the 2D metaverse. <laughs> they don't think it's gonna be fun. I don't know. I, I'm not ready to put goggles on and just like hey walk around on 3D. I don't think my computer can even handle it. But uh, if you're ready for doing some 2D experiences, Procreate, hand-drawn, whatever it is, we're looking for you. Come over here and build with us, okay?